it's time to paint. It's prime time. Get you some Rust-Oleum Flat Red and prime up all your parts. Next, get you some yellow and a little sponge. Then you do this little tapping motion. Goal here is to not get it down in the recessed parts. I'm going to give it a speckled, worn out look. After that I switched to some gunmetal and I looked for all the bits that were sticking out on my walls and in my inserts and I painted them gunmetal. rolling with the gum metal. I got my gantry walls here. I did a heavy overbrush, dry brush type technique. Big old brush because I want to go fast. There's a lot of clips and a lot of walls. They all got to be gun metal. <laughs> so I made them gun metal. Next up, I used an antique copper on the bio tanks. I want these guys to stand out a little bit, be a little different. So I went antique copper. splash my parts are taking a bath now I'm using me a light brown wash this is a mix of my citadel and my army painter because I didn't have enough citadel so I mixed them and then I washed big old brush and some yellow flame I'm gonna highlight all these edges and there's a lot of edges that's why I got a big old brush
not my only highlight. I got silver here. I'm gonna highlight all that gunmetal. That's right, all that gunmetal. Let's get a silver highlight. screen for the computer screens. I'm gonna give them that old school DOS look. This place was abandoned and it was abandoned in a hurry. They didn't even turn the power off. They all just poof left. lighter green here and putting dots to make it look like these systems have been in reboot mode for a while. Here for the final step I'm just using some Nuln oil to darken up the recesses, clean up any spots where I got too excited with some yellow, and just touch up any spots I feel like need a little extra work, a little extra depth. for watching if you guys want to get these STL files check out the description below get the link to the uh, Kickstarter I'm running have a great day